Okay, so today I'm trying out two protein powders I purchased at Chemist Warehouse by the um, Bondi Protein Co. Now I'm trying out the salted caramel and the banana flavour here today. Now the banana flavour is made on whey protein and that is 133 calories. And the salted caramel is actually a vegan version so that's actually made on a pea protein um, and that's 150 calories. Now you can buy uh, bigger containers of this protein powder at Chemist Warehouse but they also have these samples that you can try. So I thought I'd share with you my thoughts on these two flavours. So I've tipped out a little bit of the powders and I do apologise for the lighting unfortunately um, I was doing this at night. Um, on the right there, the one I'm scooping up at the moment is the salted caramel. As you can see, it's a lovely, fine consistency, nice and smooth. And then on the left, we've got the banana whey um, protein. It's a little bit more grainy. It felt like it had maybe a bit of sugar in it or just something. There's, a, there's definitely a grain element to it, but still very fine consistency. Smell wise, the banana one definitely smelt like banana, not too overpowering. The salted caramel to me was a weird smell. I couldn't even explain what I would think that it smells like. But anyway, let's make this up in my protein shaker. So I'm just using the amount of water it recommends, which is about 300 to 350 mils. Now the good things about the sachets, um, the lightweight, easy to open, and easy to get all the ingredients out. So the first one I'm making up is the vegan pea protein salted caramel. Give it a bit of a shake. Look, um, this is a huge protein shaker, so it doesn't really show you how much it makes up. So we'll tip it out into a glass. Now it's actually quite a thick consistency. Um, I guess that's because it's a pea protein. On saying that, it's quite a grainy feeling in your mouth. Um, and if I'm honest, the salted caramel is a strange flavor to me. I, I don't know that I would ever purchase it again. It was a strange sort of feeling or taste for me. Okay, so the next flavor we're going to look at is the banana protein. Now this is a whey protein, so it's not vegan, but we're going to make it up exactly the same way as we did the salted caramel. In the shaker, same amount of water, etc. Now what I like about the sachets, as I said previously, so easy to open and so easy to get the contents out into your shaker. Now it's very easy to shake up, it doesn't take long to mix up. When pouring I did find that this banana whey protein was quite thin, therefore I don't know that I would use it as a meal replacement. I don't know that they advertise it as a meal replacement. But in all honesty, I think you would be quite hungry within a couple hours if you use this as a meal replacement. So what did I think of the banana flavour by the Bondi Co? Well, to be honest, it's probably not my first choice. I have tried OptiSlim and OptiFast and I've got videos on their protein powders. In all honesty, I'd probably go to one of them first. Reason being, I just found this a little bit thin. Um, Flavour wise though, not too overpowering and not too sweet, so that's definitely a positive. Um, but they actually have some chocolate flavours that I'm keen to try out. They've got a men's range, they have an MCT chocolate and they have just a, I think a plain whey protein. But once I try those, I'll share those with you as well and we'll look at the difference. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for stopping by.